Hi, I'm David, your developer on Duty, and today NeoVim 0.10 was released. So let's have a look. In my opinion, one of the biggest changes of NeoVim 0.10 is the new default color scheme. As you can see, it's minimalistic, it's white with a little bit of green, and it's readable. There are no places where my eye cannot read the text as opposed to the previous color schemes. And this is really good news because now plugin authors can also optimize for the default color scheme and make sure that their plugins work with this. So personally, I will give it a try and see how it behaves in my everyday usage, but I'm really curious how it performs and I hope I can stick to it. One thing I dislike about the new default color scheme is that in diffs, it overrides the foreground and background color. And in my opinion, it makes it a bit less readable because the original syntax highlighting gets disabled, for example, in this line here. Another new feature is built in support for commenting. So now you can press GCC to comment in or out a line. If I press GCC again, it's back in. I can select multiple lines and press GC or I can also have some motions and text objects. For example, GCI curly brace comments everything inside those curly braces. There are also now new default key maps. You can press bracket D to jump to the next diagnostic in both directions. And you can also press shift K to get hover information from your language server. Both seems to be very useful for me. Another nice feature are inlay hints. You can see that if I toggle it. Now, whenever I call, for example, a function, I can see the parameter name as an inlay hint. Or when I define a function, I can see the implicit return type and things like that. Now, to enable this, I have to define a key map, which I did here, so leader h calls this Lua function here, which in turn calls vim lsp inlay hint enable. And as an argument, I provide not vim lsp inlay hint is enabled, so I can toggle it. Now, you also need to configure your language server to enable inlay hints. In this case, I use LSP config with the settings to enable those inlay hints. If you're using tree setter, you might know the inspect tree command, which lets you inspect the abstract syntax tree of your computer code. And now we have a query editor. So we can now ed say edit query. And here we can write our example query. So let's say, let's take something easy, um, a variable list with a name identifier. So we can write variable list name identifier and give it to some uh, capture. And now if I move my cursor over the capture, you can see on the left that the respective code is highlighted. Very useful if you're dealing with tree setter queries. Now I can finally use the command key for key maps. In this case, I use command L to print hooray. So now if I press command L, it prints hooray. This now works in the kitty terminal, which I'm currently using, and it allows me to have a lot more key maps than previously. But as always, these are not all the features. Please check out the release page of NeoVim 0.10. You can see a lot of details of all those features which were released and all the changes they made. Also check out this nice blog post by Gregory Anders, which gives uh, their highlights of NeoVim 0.10. Also, please post in the comments your favorite NeoVim 0.10 feature. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.